Okay guys, welcome to today's lesson. Today we're covering statics, problem 2.9 from chapter 2. Alright, so problem 2.9 says, A trolley that moves along a horizontal beam is acted upon by two forces as shown. Part A asks, knowing that alpha equals 25 degrees, determine by trigonometry the magnitude of the force P so that the resultant force exerted on the trolley is vertical. And part B asks, what is the corresponding magnitude of the resultant? So as you can see, I've gone ahead and drawn a free diagram for our trolley. It has force P at the angle down the vertical at often an angle of alpha. And that's given to us as 25 degrees. And it has force of 1600 newtons as well acting off the horizontal at 15 degrees going to the left and down. So we know that the resultant is going to be vertical. All right, so our resultant force, I'll just draw it here, just to give a representation of it, we have acting vertical. What that tells us is that if the resultant R is vertical, then the sum of our forces in the x direction will have to be zero. So we're going to sum our forces in the x direction. But before we can do that, we need to break our P vector and our 600 Newton vector into components in the horizontal as well as the vertical to solve part B. So I'm going to draw another figure diagram for the 600 Newton force and find its components. When I do that, I'm going to also go ahead and draw a figure diagram for vector P, breaking it down into its components as well. So it has a horizontal and a vertical component for each vector. Okay, so this will be our 25 degree angle alpha. And this will be our 15 degree angle that's given to us as well. So the 600 newton force will be here. Our P vector we're trying to solve for. So it represent again by P. Now for components, we know that the 600 newton force will have a x component of 1600 times the cosine of 15 degrees, as well as it'll have this vertical component of 1600 newtons times the sine of 15 degrees. Okay, our p vector will have a horizontal component of p times the sine not cosine, sine of 25 degrees. And our vertical vector will have our P times the cosine of 25 degrees. And again, I just derived these from basic trigonometric functions of cosine and sine. Okay, so let's sum our forces in the x direction. Our P vector is going to the right. We'll take that as being positive for P. So positive P sine of 25 degrees. Our 600 newton vector is acting to the left. We'll take that as being negative. So we'll have a minus sine of 1600 times this horizontal component of cosine 15 degrees. And again, these are forces of summing being equal to zero. So we can do a little algebra. We can go ahead and say P sine of 25 degrees we move this force over to the right hand side of the equation to become positive. So it'll be positive 1600 cosine of 15 degrees. And then if we divide both sides by the sine of 25 degrees, we can find the value of our P, our P in the X component. So let's see, this will be sine of 25 degrees. So now if we go to the calculator. And we type in 1600 times the cosine of 15 degrees. And then we divide that by the sine of 25 degrees. Oh, you know what? I'm in radians, guys. Gotta check that. So I'm gonna go to mode, go down to degrees. All right, always be careful to check your mode, make sure you're in degrees when we're dealing with statics. All right, so let's try that again. We're going to do 
1600 times the cosine of 15 degrees divided by the sine of 25 degrees. And now we get our prep answer for our value of the P vector. Magnitude of P is equal to 3656.9 newtons. Always be sure to include our unit with our answer. All right, so that's our answer to part A. Complete. Now, if we return to part B, remember part B asks us, what is the corresponding magnitude of the resultant? So we're asking for magnitude of the resultant. So our magnitude, we're going to figure out, we call our equation the magnitude of R is equal to simply, using the Pythagorean theorem, is the Rx component squared plus the Ry component squared. And again, the Rx component is just a sum of their, all the forces in the x direction as a result in, which means the sum of the forces in the x direction, which we know is zero. So this component will go to zero. Our Ry is simply the sum of forces in the y direction. This will not be zero. Now we're going to use our free diagrams for our vectors again. We're going to use the vertical components. So we have both of these going down, so both be negative. We'll take down to be negative in the negative y-axis direction. So we have P cosine of 25. Well, P, we know the value is now this number here is 3,656.9 newton force. So it'll be negative 3,656.9 newton force times the cosine of 25. It has vertical component multiplied by the cosine of 25 degrees. Okay, and we should also include our 1600 newton vector going in as vertical component, which would be minus 1600 times the sine of 15 degrees. Okay, so multiply these components with their or we should say multiply these magnitudes by their horizontal and vertical components. We're doing the vertical right now. And we get our reaction force in the Y, resultant force in the Y. So we have our answer we just took. We're going to make that negative. So times negative 1. Then times the cosine of 25 degrees. I'm going to now subtract 1600 multiplied by the sine of 15 degrees. And I get my answer for the result in the Y as being negative 37, 28.4 newtons. Now we can go back in and plug this number back into our RY for our magnitude function. We have the square root of, in parentheses, negative 37, 28.4 newtons. We square that. Take the square root. Essentially, that'll give us the same number, but it'll be positive. So our magnitude is always positive because we square, in parentheses, our individual components for the resultant. So we get positive 3728, or 3728.4 newtons for our magnitude of our resultant. All right, guys, so thank you for joining me for this problem. There'll be more to come. Stay tuned. Have a good day. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me in another Simple STEM Solution video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Also, if you'd like to support this channel or have particular questions you want answered, be sure to check out my Patreon community via the link in the description below.